On April 22nd, 2018, we decided to head up to the Telfordstein Railway at Horsehay in Shropshire. Formerly a part of the Wellington and Severn Junction Railway, the line closed in 1964 as part of the Beeching Cuts before being reopened in 1981 by the Telford Horsehay Steam Trust. The heritage line itself runs for one mile, starting at either Spring Village or Horsehay and Dorley, before making a single stop at Lawley Village, then reversing into one or the other, forming a Y shape. The line, however, wasn't always like this. From its opening until 2008, the line only ran up to the Heath Hill Tunnel until an extension into Lawley was begun. Lawley Village Station later opened in 2015 and now serves as a terminus for the line. There are now plans to also use the abandoned line towards Colebrookdale, and work has begun to expand the line to the former Ironbridge Power Station depot. The section to Lightmore platform via the Dosserley Halt will officially open during April 2019, connecting the line to the former Wolverhampton and Shrewsbury line. The train in service today is a 040 saddle tank known as a Rocket. Built by Peckett & Sons in 1926, it worked at the Courtauld's company at Coventry throughout its service life before ending up in a private collection and brought by the TSR in 2003. The service on the line consists of the locomotive itself, a first class Mark II passenger car and a brake wagon at the rear. A round trip on the line takes 50 minutes in total, with passengers giving up unlimited runs for the day. You also get an opportunity to sit in either the passenger car or the brake wagon which was a rather nice extra, to which I did both. Amenities on the line also include a small shop and a 5 inch model railway at Spring Village Station and a cafe at Horsehay and Dorley Station featuring a full sized indoor model railway. As you can see here, I decided to go for a simple bacon sandwich to enjoy as I rode the line. Once you arrive at Lawley Village, you get an opportunity to either get off the train and leave for the village itself, or return back onto the train and ride it to the other station down the line from which you left on. In true train spotting style, let's window hang from the front. The first thing you see as we leave Lawley Village is the fact that we go up a fairly steep 2.8% gradient, but this however is nothing compared to what's to come at the end of the route. As mentioned previously, this section of the line opened in 2015, making it the newest section of the Telford Steam Railway. You can still see some of the scaffolding where work was being done to create this part of the line before it was open to the public. The location of the current Lawley Village Station, however, is not the same as the original. The original was a few hundred yards north from here, but has since been built on, rendering it unavailable for use. As the siding comes together, we're now about to enter the Heathfield Tunnel, which is the only stretch of tunnel on this entire heritage line. exit the tunnel, we are then introduced to a completely different landscape where before it was just full of fields, this side of the tunnel has now got high steep hills with vegetation and trees on both sides. Where the colour of the gravel on the ground changes, this used to be the site of the buffer and is the only sign to show where the line used to end before the expansion to Lawley Village opens in 2015.
At this point, Blind Nell starts to level out as the gradient becomes less and less steep. The engine will also stop creating power, and the train will now start to coast for the majority of the line as we reach top speed to this section. Here we come to a halt at the semaphores, where the driver will now have to leave the train and change the points manually to the destination where we're heading to. The whistle there indicates that the train is about to move, willing all those nearby to either board the train or get out of the way as the engine is about to start moving. As we enter the left branch into Horsehair and Dorley, we now enter arguably the steepest part of the line, a 4% gradient heading downhill. To the right, however, than where I'm looking at right now, is the entrance to the Spring Village Station. At this point, you also pass a Class 108, also owned by the line. This one in particular is in fa fairly poor shape, and its last destination board was set to Kidderminster for being retired. As we now enter the station platform, we also get a chance to see the bridge overhead, where you can see what years of search from the steam train has left part of the bridge blackened. And as we get off the train at Horsehay and Dorley, that brings to an end to what has been my journey on the Telford Steam Railway.